Hi Key Shooter. Here's a uh, quick video on how to create a dirty wheel material as you see here on the screen. In a few simple steps. What I'm going to do is first to create the base material, then create a dust material and then use a few maps to uh, blend these two together so we have the dirt on the outside and a clean wheel here on the inside. Alright, here we have our wheel material stripped down to a basic diffuse material with a grey color. In the first step I want to create the base plastic rubber material. So I'm going to choose a plastic material, change the color to almost black and bump up the roughness to something like this, just eyeballing it. And in the bump, I'm going to add this uh, noise texture and I am going to zoom in to see what it looks like a bit better and also open up the material graph, pick the noise node and hit C on the keyboard to see the color information. Uh, that way it's a bit easier to see how big the scale should be. I'll go with something like five and I'll increase the bump height a bit. 0.3 looks good. Maybe increase the magnitude as well to make the bump a bit more sharpish looking. All right, I think that looks good. So now on to the uh, dust material. Uh, and for this, I'm going to work a bit more in the material graph. So I am just going to quickly rearrange stuff. So we see everything nice and clear like this. And to add the dust material, I'm going to add in a new material. I right click here on the graph, go to materials and hit uh, plastic material. And I put that on top of my original, original material like this. And for the uh, diffuse, I'm going to load in a bitmap texture called sand that I have here in my library. So I drag that into the graph and I hit around the keyboard again to close that down. And I drag that into the uh, diffuse channel. Whoops. Like so. And again, zoom a bit in to see, uh, see it a bit bigger and Look at the color information by pressing C on the keyboard and adjust the scaling to again around five. I think that looks good. And then I'm going to adjust the roughness and I'm going to use this map as well for the bump mapping. I am just decreasing the bump height to value of 0.2 and I think that is good. So now we have our dust material or dirt material and we have our base rubber material. So to mask or blend these two materials together, I'm going to add in a texture node called color gradient and put that into the opacity node of this dirt material. And we're going to use black and white. Black will be completely non-transparent. So we see the, uh, or completely transparent, sorry. So we see the original rubber material beneath it. And for the gradient type, I'm going to use cylindrical and you might have to fiddle around with the, uh, the settings a bit to get something useful. Let's hit C on the keyboard to look at the color information and adjust the scaling. All right, so we see that it's uh, on the wrong axis. So we are going to uh, activate the mapping tool up here and then hold shift and drag it down here 90 degrees all right and then adjust the scaling some more 
and we want a fairly sharp transition that I get by dragging these two color pins close together. And we want the dust to be or dirt to be visible up here, but not here. So this should be something what we are looking for. Let's see. Yep. Looks quite good. Might want to adjust this a bit. And also maybe take it down a bit. Take it down a few steps to... Um, Actually, I think this is good. All right. So to add some details and more re realism to uh, to this dirt on top, I'm going to add in another uh, bitmap texture that we are going to use in conjunction with this color gradient for the opacity. So I hit M to uh, bring up my materials library and I go to a uh, texture and I am going to use my metal uh, middle texture that I love so much. I'm not sure it's the perfect one for this example, but uh, it's uh, it it looks quite cool, I guess. So to blend these two together, I'm going to use a color composite node, and I drag that into the opacity channel. And for the source source, I'm going to use this color gradient. And in the background, I'm using this texture metal texture. All right, so select the color composite and hit C on the keyboard to see what's going on. And double click on it to bring up the uh, options. And here in the blend mode, I am changing it to multiply. So these two will blend together. All right, so uh, if we hit C again on the keyboard, we see that we have some variation going on now in the dirt texture. Now you can uh, adjust the scaling of this uh, metal texture and maybe also play with brightness and contrast to uh, really bring out some variation. And you can also go back to this color gradient and move these around ever so slightly to uh, get the desired result. And that's it. A uh, quick tutorial on how to create a dirty wheel material. I hope you learned something from it and uh, remember to hit like and subscribe if you're new to this channel. I will be putting out more like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.